Oh yeah. At our favorite store. Loading up. Heading up for the day. Matt's gonna get his 2019 license. Yep. It's the Pledge of Allegiance on the 4th of July. It's some handwritten letters from home. It's some sleepless nights alone. It's his newborn baby he left with his wife. All right, everybody, so we're down at the lease today. <clears throat> Got Matt with me. Bag carrier. Bag carrier. Got him carrying 50 pounds of corn out here to this little feeder. Um, but we're not even, what, 100 yards? Less than 100, less than 100 yards into our first stop of the day, and uh, we've already got sheer sign of coyotes. We have gotten in here and gotten this doe down so i told him as soon as we started walking i was like man i think i see one right there sure enough so we got the rifles with us and uh, we're gonna check some cameras do some scouting do some shed hunting and uh see what we can come up with All right, so we got an old PVC gravity feeder that someone's left here for. So we're gonna feed this or fill this thing up and uh, see what see what kind of good pictures we can get. So I say I wanna just get on all these trails, but I think as far as setting up, you got easy access. You know what I'm saying? Easy access right there plenty of sign right there you're not coming in here and disturbing it and i think they're coming they're bedding back here on these hillsides and they're funneling right down this drainage ditch and going across the street yeah you can see how heavily used these trails are like again that is a heavy trail <clears throat> and you know they have to put the work in to get up that so just stand here in glass and look on both sides of that trail. Cause as they're, you know, beating yeah. the ground to try to get up there, that's that's when they knock their sheds off. And they're the hardest ones to find cause not too many people want to climb up there. Right. But again, I mean, look at this crossing. Heavy, heavy sign. So we're about a half mile back. Yeah, saying if, if there was more rhyme or reason if this opened up into a flat or something like that, you know. But you can just use this creek bottom to gain access and come back here and clean it up. But I'm just not seeing any, any reason to really come back here and hunt. I'll walk up right here. Yeah, something's digging around. <laughs> Well, but yeah, if this, if this were to have come back here and split and maybe opened up or at least got up into a, you know, some field access. Heck, yeah. But just like you said, you walk back here, you're not even short of breath. I try to walk that stupid hillside and I'm about to die. I'm sweating. It's some sleepless nights alone. It's his newborn baby he left with his wife. Mr. Red, White, and Blue, lay down his life. Mr. Red, White, and Blue, for these stars and stripes. Hey. From the fields of Indiana to the swamps of Louisiana to the golden coast of California. All right. So we got a whole nother property, side of this property, all that back there that we have rights to. There's no real good way to get across. So what do we do? We find the best way that the deer cross. And, whoa, that up there is Matt coming down in his Jeep.
Who needs waders when you got a Willis? There's a good sign down here in this bottom. Little bedding area. So we're working our way over there. But all the CRP that's all grown up, I mean, it's just encompassed with these pockets of bedding area. There's another rub over there. They're just everywhere in here. So we're gonna keep on keep on making our way across. Now there's a nice one. So I mean, again, kind of like I always say, this starts about a foot and a half up, and then in between that two and three foot mark, it's real heavily rubbed. Works his way off, tapers off at the top. That's a good indication of a good, I'd say at least three and a half year old deer. And I want you to see how thick it is in here. I mean, heck, you could walk right up on a deer and not know it until, it was, until you were on it. But just in the middle, I mean, there's nothing out here. Nothing. And then you get a, boom, big old rub like that. So I just get on these heavily, tra heavily used trails and follow them. And then it leads into stuff like that. You get into the bedding, you get into the rubs. And as the uh, sign continues to increase, I just increase my, you know, attention to the ground looking for any of these drops. Just keep hanging in there. And you can just see this how heavily used this single trail is. Even right up into the into the hardwoods. Sky. <laughs> Where's that road at? Left. I see. On X is showing that we've we've already walked, shoot, good six miles today. And as you can see, we are way back in the heart of this lease and uh, basically surround, it's a big bowl. And uh, brought some corn, got uh, about 150 pounds of corn, got a big and J cube out here to hopefully, Matt, if you're panning around, pull these deer off of this hill. There's all kinds of big buck sign um, back here on this hill. Matt, can you zoom in right there? There's a good rub right on this transition line out of this uh, hardwood. And then back here in this bottom, in this old CRP grass, man, there is just bedding all down through there. So um, we're going to get a couple cameras put up on this to start getting some intel on what bucks we have back here. And then we're going to climb this hillside. And uh, there's all kinds, like I said, all kinds of scrapes and rubs and, and, and sign on the shelves going up this hill. So we're going to put a mineral site up on top, and we're also going to uh, drop another, another camera. So... Stay tuned, it should be fun.
All right, so I've set up two cameras. One on both sides of this tree. And the reason why, we're at the top of this ridge. You wanna talk about some active rubs. And there's some more right over on this side. So brought trophy rock up here. Just something to hold them up, add a little mineral to their diet. And then hopefully, get them on camera so we can get them coming and going so we'll let that run for about two months and then head on back see what we got tired yet matt not too bad <laughs> been a long hike but we're good i'm glad he can act like he's all hercules because i'm about exhausted <laughs> I was going to say it wasn't a heck of a climb up that hill. Oh, man. But, I mean, I think we're at, I don't even know what the elevation is. Got to check on X, but here's some more sign. There's a small rub. Another small rub over here. And I'll show you once we start going down back down this hill it starts to shelf off and uh, there's just massive rubs and sign down here so keep hanging in there with us all right so as we're getting ready to drop off this ledge here you can see the continued sign rub here there's another buck but they, it gets thicker and thicker sign, bigger and bigger trees, and they continue to drop down on these different elevations. I'll tell you what, we're on a pretty pretty steep hillside, but man, the sign is just amazing. There's rubs all over the place. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the best rub I've seen in in probably two years. And it's, see how big that tree is? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not fresh, but it's definitely 2018 fresh. I mean, that tree's as big around as my leg. There's some more right there, right in front of you. Oh, yeah. Somewhere right here. Boy, there's something in here tearing yeah, it up. Yeah, some older ones. So we have a repeat offender. Because <laughs> I mean, every tree in here is tore up from oh, years past. Right yeah. You go to the right. I'm going to go over here to the left. Good sign. Good sign. It's the guts and it's the glory A hundred stripes, a hundred stories It's the Pledge of Allegiance on the 4th of July It's them handwritten letters from home It's them sleepless nights alone It's his newborn baby he left with his wife Mr. Red, White and Blue 